Some might argue that attempting this problem is like playing hide and seek with a ghost. It may seem elusive, but with a little persistence, you will uncover the mystery. But I see this question like a garden of opportunities. It may be a seed that when nurtured grows into knowledge. Your goal is to determine the opposite business word pairs. You already presented with one pair, innovative versus conventional. And you need to find the opposite business word pairs for other words, which are transparent, collaborative, strategic, and stable. Feel like you stumbled upon a tough one? Well, it's not that difficult to solve, and I have full trust in your problem-solving capabilities. Whether you're a problem-solving veteran or a newcomer, I believe in your capabilities. Take a moment to reflect, tap into your creativity, and let's tackle this challenge together. The answer is just waiting to be discovered. Are you ready with your version of the solution? I hope you are. So let's move forward and compare our versions of the answer. I think the opposite of transparent is the word opaque. Opaque in business describes the lack of transparency or clarity, whether information or processes are unclear, making it difficult for stakeholders to understand or access. The example of the sentence with the word might be, the financial report was so opaque that investors struggled to understand the company's true financial health. The opposite of the word collaborative is independent. Independent in business denotes autonomy and self-reliance, indicating the ability for the entity or individual to operate without unique influence or reliance on external factors. The example of the sentence with this word might be, the entrepreneur decided to start an independent consulting firm, free from constraints of a traditional corporate structure. The opposite of the word strategic in business is tactical. Tactical in business sense relates to actions or strategies that are carefully planned and executed to achieve short-term goals or respond to immediate challenges within an overall strategic framework. The example of the sentence was this word might be, the marketing team implemented a tactical campaign to boost sales during the holiday season, targeting specific demographics with precision. An opposite of the word stable could be volatile. Volatility in business refers to the degree of unpredictability and variability in market conditions, prices, or other factors. The example of the sentence with this word might be, the stock market became highly volatile with prices fluctuating dramatically in response to global economic uncertainties. Did you come up with any different alternatives? If you did, please make sure to share them in comments so we can all learn. It's uh, hard to deny, but understanding this particular question is like decoding a secret message. Once you crack it, you feel like a secret agent of knowledge. In fact, patience and mental skills that you're building by practicing this question is the key that unlocks the door to success in the assessment journey as well as in life. You're presented with nine numbers and need to determine all prime numbers in this series. The numbers are 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. And your answer should be selected out of four possible choices. Choice A, 31 and 39. Choice B, 35 and 37. Choice C, 31 and 37. And last but not least, choice D, 35 and 39. Feel like you're stuck on a challenging problem? Well, you're not alone in facing this hurdle. I feel exactly the same way. But whether you're a problem-solving pro or a novice, I trust your skills. Take a brief pause, unleash your creative thinking, and let's confront this obstacle as a team. Your answer is eagerly awaiting your discovery. Are you ready with your solution? I hope you are. So let's move forward and compare our versions of the answer. Let's first understand what the prime numbers are. Prime numbers are natural numbers greater than 1 that can only be evenly divided by 1 in themselves, having no other positive divisors. The sample prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and then you continue going up. What's interesting is that the prime numbers are fundamental in number theory and play a crucial role in various mathematical and cryptographic applications. To solve this challenge, we need to go through each number and check if it's divisible by any smaller numbers. 
Let's start with number 31 and see if it's divisible by any smaller numbers like 2, 3, 4 and so on. Once you do it, you realize that it's not divisible. We can even try a square root of 31 and only to learn that it's not divisible, which means that it is a prime number. 32 can be divided by 2 and the end result of this is 16, so 32 is not a prime number. Same with 33, it can be divided by 3, 34 can be divided by 2, 35 can be divided by 5, 36 can be divided by 2, 37 is a prime number. You can go through the same chain of exploration as we did for number 31. 38 is not a prime number and 39 is not a prime number. So the correct answer here is choice C, 31 and 37. And now it's your time. With this question, the spotlight in on you. Take the lead in solving this question on your own terms. I have full confidence that you can do it. You're presented with four expressions and you need to sort the results of these expressions in descending order. The first expression is one fifth plus three fourth. Second expression is square root of one minus one tenth. Third expression is 1.2 minus one quarter. And the fourth expression is 0 0.9 multiplied by 1.1. Your answer choices are choice A. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the sequence of expressions in descending order. Choice B, 4, 3, 2, 1. Choice C, 2, 3, 4, 1. And last but not least, choice D, 4, 3, 1, 2. Crack this challenge on your own, then share your solution in the comments. I'm looking forward to discussing your answer and providing some feedback. Thanks for getting involved and good luck on this intriguing challenge. Get ready for a mind-bending question that will make you question your own existence. Well, maybe not to that extreme, but definitely a cognitive workout. You're presented with the very simple expression. 5 minus 2 multiplied by 4 plus 7 equals question mark. And question mark is the value that you need to calculate. Once calculated, select your answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 3. Choice B, 4. Choice C, 5. And last but not least, choice D, 6. I'm going to give you a hint. Make sure to verify your answer before you move forward. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this brain teaser together. And remember, if you end up calculating a better way to solve it, please share your answer in comments. The key to solve this challenge is to determine the order of operations. You might have heard the term PEMDAS which stands for parentheses, brackets, exponents, orders, multiplications, divisions, addition and subtraction, which is also known as BAMDAS and represents correct way to perform calculations. Let's apply this order to this expression. We first need to do multiplication. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. So the updated expression will be 5 minus 8 plus 7. The next operation is from left to right we need to do subtraction. 5 minus 8 equals minus 3. Next step, minus 3 plus 7 equals 4. So the tip here is always remember to follow the order of operation to get the accurate result in mathematical calculations. The correct answer here is choice B, 4. Here's one of my favorite questions to test your analytical skills and attention to details. You need to determine which of the values is the smallest. And you're presented with five different values. The choices are A, 3 fourth, choice B, 0 0.6, choice C, 7 twelfth, choice D, 0 0.7, and last but not least, choice E, 4 fifth. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To get to the correct answer, we need to convert all the values to the common format. You can convert all the values to decimals or you convert all the values to fractions. It doesn't matter, but it has to be common. I chose decimal format. 3 fourths in decimal is 0 0.75. 0 0.6 is 0 0.6. And 7 twelfth is 0 0.583. 0 0.7 has the same value and 4 fifth is 0 
Now you can easily see that the smallest value is choice C, 7 12th, which is approximately as 0 0.58333. Did you get to the similar solution? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Do you know what time is it? It's time for your solo quest through this maze of the intellect. And keyword here is solo. Solving this question though is like navigating through the maze blindfold. Challenging, a bit disorienting and probably not recommended. You're presented with the sequence of numbers and you need to calculate the missing number. The numbers you see are 14, 17, 28, 11, 41, 71, 82 and then comes the missing number which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 95. Choice B, 72. Choice C, 11. And last but not least, choice D, 10. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Once you solve this challenge independently and conquer the maze, you need to share your victorious solution in comments. I am eager to review them and provide you with my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this challenge. You would have to agree that untangling this data analytics puzzle is like explaining music to a plant. You have to start with the roots and hope that harmony eventually grows. You're presented with seven terms and you need to identify all terms related to data analytics. The terms are pivot, CVS, range, query, pilot, duplicate and pylon. Feeling challenged and that's okay, it's a tricky question. But whether you're a seasoned solver or casual question explorer, I have faith in your problem-solving abilities. Give it a time it deserves, think outside the box, and watch the pieces fall into place. I have full confidence that you've got what it takes. Are you ready with your solution? Or at least excited for a mental workout and to learn the answer? Let's tackle this puzzle together and explore the complexities of this question. Don't forget to share your brilliance in comments. Your ideas and solution might be the breakthrough we need. Let's start with the incorrect answers. The three incorrect answers I identified are CVS, which is a pharmacy and retail company. The term CVS sounds similar to CSV, which is comma separated values and is used in data analytics. The second incorrect term is pilot. Pilot is a person who operates aircraft and spacecraft and it sounds similar to pivot. For example, pivot tables are used in data analytics. And the third incorrect answer is pylon, which represents a tall structure used to support something such as bridge or power lines. And it sounds very similar to Python, which is the language that is used in data analytics. And now let's look at the correct answer. The first correct answer is pivot. In data analytics, a pivot refers to reorganizing and summarizing data to gain insights by changing the perspective or structure of the data set. The second term used in data analytics is range. In data analytics, range typically signifies the difference between the highest and lowest values in the data set, providing a measure of dispersion. The third correct answer from my standpoint is query. In data analytics, a query is a request for specific information from a database or data set, often expressed in a structured query language like SQL. And last correct answer, I believe, is duplicate. In data analytics, a duplicate refers to identical or replicated records within a data set, which may need to be identified and managed for data quality and analysis purposes. Are you in agreement with my version of the answer? Please make sure to post your answers and solutions in comments. This problem reminds me of my high school math experiences. When I would approach the teacher with the problem, she would always say, I can give you 20%, but you would need to figure out the rest on your own. I was grateful, in fact, she did this, since this allowed me to learn the concept better. But let's look at the problem. You're presented with the equation 90 minus 20% minus 3 multiplied by 4 equals question mark, which you need to calculate and select out of 4 possible choices. Choice A, 60. Choice B, 65. Choice C, 62. And last but not least, choice D, 68. Hey, don't get discouraged. Whether you're a current subscriber or actively looking to become a subscriber, I have complete faith in your ability to overcome this challenge and solve this problem.
Just be sure to grant yourself sufficient time to do the calculations. Are you ready? I am going to continue and move forward so we can navigate the complexities together and exchange the solutions in the end. And if your insights and solution is better, please make sure to post it in comments so we can all learn. Let's first look at the challenge which could quickly discourage you. You see 20% here. And this 20% is very unusual way of showing the percentages. In fact, the way percentages are shown here in this expression is not the typical way of presenting percentages in math. But hey, don't get discouraged here. Just use common sense and move forward to complete the calculations. And the calculations are very simple here. 20% is 20% of 90. So the solution here would be 90 minus 20% of 90, which is 18, minus 12, which is end result of 3 multiplied by 4 which is equal 90 minus 30 and equals 60. So the correct answer here is choice A, 60. And now it's time for you to seize the moment. But you would have to agree that explaining this particular question related to data analytics to your grandma is like decoding a complex algorithm with a punchline. The interpretation might be fuzzy, but the laughter is always in the regression. You're presented with four words and you need to identify all words that are misspelled. The choices are choice A, concatenation, choice B, normalization, choice C, aggregation, and last but not least, choice D, duplication. It's all you now. You need to solve this challenge and drop your solutions in comments. I am very curious to see what you will come up with and ready to offer my feedback. Thanks for being part of this and best of luck tackling this exciting challenge. When I started looking at this question, I realized that attempting to solve it feels like trying to light a match in the wind. Sometimes you get a spark, <laughs> but most of the time you end up with the metaphoric blown out candle. You're presented with the equation, which is built with matches. You need to move one match stick to fix this equation, because the way it looks, it's not correct. The current equation is 7 minus 4 equals 5, which is mathematically is not correct. It is very simple equation and all you need to do is to move just one match. And the best thing is whether you're a pro or newcomer, I trust you to conquer this challenge. Remember, time is your friend and a little outside of the box thinking goes a long way. You've got this. Take your time, get creative and let's crack this puzzle together. Are you ready? Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange the solutions in the end. A lot of times, these types of problems can have more than one solution. So if you have an alternative, make sure to post your ideas in comments. To solve this challenge, let's first look at the rules of what you cannot do to solve it. Number one rule is you can't break the sticks. Number two is that less and greater signs are not allowed in these equations. And last but not least is you cannot use not equal signs. For example, you can move one stick and come up with the correct equation, 1 minus 4 not equal to 5. But this is not allowed. So what can you do then to solve this challenge? Let's look at simple tips that you can apply to get to the correct solution. Number one, you need to engage in mental visualization before making any physical moves. Envision the potential rearrangement of matchsticks and how they might alter the equation. The most important consideration here, which makes this problem so challenging, is that moving one matchstick changes two elements of the equation, source where you took the matchstick from and the destination. This is why each move should be carefully considered, taking into account its impact on both the original and new elements within the equation to achieve the desired result. Once you follow the simple tips, you need to ensure that move aligns with the mathematical rules and creates a valid solution. And the solution here is rather simple. You need to take one match stick from the first digit and move it to the mathematical sign. The correct equation here is 1 plus 4 equals 5. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. 
giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.